is a view of a live webcam in the capital city of Victoria, Melbourne. Welcome to an update from Force 13 on Tropical Cyclone Savannah, which is Category 2 on the local scale and was located near 13 decimal 5 degrees south, 95 decimal 2 degrees east, that's about 230 kilometres southwest of the Caicos Island, uh, moving south southwest at 9 kilometres an hour. The cyclone continues to move towards the southwest, further away from the Caicos Keeling Islands, and is not expected and is expected to intensify over open water and not directly affect the islands or affect the WA mainland. Here's the Tropical Cyclone Warning Centre Perth office track chart. They have it as mentioned, Category 2, Category 1 on the San Francisco uh, hurricane uh, scale and will be upgraded to a Category 3 within the next day or two. The latest from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has a 13 decimal 2 degrees south, 95 decimal 5 degrees east, and they have it at 45 knots gusting at 55 knots. And they have it around 1406 nautical miles east southeast of Diego Garcia tracking southwest at five knots over the last six hours and here's their current track chart on the cyclone animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery depicts persistent deep convection over low level circulation obscured by dense cloud overcast a 89 gigahertz image indicates curved deep convective banding and gives fair confidence in the initial position the initial intensity of 45 knots is edge on the high side of the Vorak intensity estimates ranging from T 2.5 35 knots from various I think models and T3 45 knots the cyclone is located within a competing steering environment with a weak near equitable ridge to the southwest by the 36 hour mark the cyclone will track slowly south southwest along the western periphery of the northeastern ridge. Sea surface temperatures 27 28 degrees Celsius, 5 to 10 knots vertical wind shear and good divergence aloft. Now here's a look at the NOAA floaters. Uncertainty increases significantly after 36 hours as the ECMWF slows and deviates southwestward, whereas the remaining models track directly west across the northern periphery of the steering ridge. That's all of the information from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. Now we have a look at various tracks. And the pressure scale is on the right hand side of the screen. And the Bureau of Meteorology is saying a cat free sometime over the weekend. The EPS tracker guidance. Late cycle intensity guidance. Cyclone. And finally 
in this update, we have a look at the ladies wind shear, the wind's unfavourable, the green is favourable. The 24 hour shear tendency, the tropical uh, systems of the area in blue to the right green. And one of my favourites is the 850 metabar vorticity. And we have other systems uh, on the radar. And please continue to monitor the channel. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name Force 13, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094.